Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I will show you how to make this face mask with a filter pocket and a nose bridge. I made this pattern so you have less cutting and sewing to do. If you're a subscriber, you already seen this video, but in this video, I will show you some improvements I did, and I'm offering two other size patterns by viewer request for an extra large and child size. Let's get started. Print my free pattern. It's down below in the description. You choose letter for paper size, and I included a one inch square. So if you'd like to check that to make sure you printed it correctly, cut it out. And for the extra large pattern, you need to place it together. If you're going to use that, place one bead down first, and we're going to match the solid lines and put one A on top and tape that together. Next, we'll cut out two pieces of material, and I'm using 100% cotton, and you want to pre-wash that first before cutting it. Put right sides together. Do that for the lining as well. And we'll take it to the sewing machine, and we're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge. Stop right there. And the same thing with the front of the mask. Stop right there. To shorten the video time, I will be speeding the video up on the sewing part and I will cut out the back stitching I do in the beginning and end of the sewing. Once you have it sewed out, you want to take it to the ironing board and I'm going to put a piece of material so you can view this a little bit better. You can see what I'm doing. See that's going to stand out a lot better. All right, let's do our front of our mask. Open it up. And you want to make sure your seams are facing up. Fold over about a quarter of an inch. And press. Fold over another quarter of an inch. And press. Flip it over and we'll repeat for the other side, quarter inch. And if you're interested in any of the items I have that I show in this video, I'll list it down below in the description so you could easily find it. And press. To clip the ends, it's best to flip it over. Line up your scissors with the fabric, right at this angle, just like that. Now do the other side. Flip it over and do the other ends. Now we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew straight down. Grab the liner. Open it up, seams facing up. You want to fold over about a quarter of an inch and press. Fold over a quarter inch and press again. Flip it over and repeat for the other side. Take it to the sewing machine and sew straight down on each side. All right, now that we got the ends sewed down, we want to go ahead and clip our curves. Make sure you don't clip into the stitches. You'll notice the bottom is not as curvy as the top. Open it up, then open the liner. With right sides together, line up the seams and the seams will be on the outside. Pin it. I will be using pins for this demo as it's easier for you to view it. 
If you have sewing clips or hair clips, it would be best if you use them. All right, grab the bottom and match up the seams once again and pin it. We're going to take this flap and we're going to fold it over. I'm going right over the seam. Right there. Let me show you. Just a little bit over the seam. And pin it. And you want to make sure this is nice and flat. Now we'll repeat for the other side, fold it over, and just go a little bit over that flap. And if you go a little more, that's okay. Make sure this is nice and flat. Take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge. Start here, go up around the curve, and stop when you get to the end. Then sew straight across. I'll sew the top first. And I'm sorry, my hands sometimes get in the way. It's kind of hard to avoid it. Now I'll do the bottom. Clip your curves. Go all the way down and do the other side. And then grab an opening. You can choose either side. Flip it inside out. Then you need something that is not pointy to push out the corners. I'm using the back end of an old paintbrush. Push out your corners. All right, now you want to press it. Fold half an inch and press. Repeat for the other side. Half an inch and press. Take it to the sewing machine and sew straight down. Repeat for the other side, straight down. Once you have your ends sewed down, we will work on the nose piece. I bought these nose bridge on Amazon for $7.99. You get a hundred in the package. And I'll list that down below in the description. You can peel back the paper and place these on top, but I'm not sure how long the sticky will hold up. I will be placing mine inside the mask. I'll fold it in half so it's easier to line up the center. Push it up as high as you can get it. You might have to play with it a little. Then pin right under the nose bridge. This will help to know where to sew and keep the nose bridge in place. Take it to the sewing machine. Sew down. Sew across. And then sew up. Try not to hit the metal. All right, off camera, I got the sewing done. Now we'll do a top stitch and we want to start it right here. Do not go in this area. This is where our elastic will go. So we'll start right here. Go a quarter inch from the edge. Go up, down, 
and stop when you get to the stitches right here. And we'll do the bottom, same thing, start right where your stitches are, come across, and end where the stitches are. All right, we're just about done. We've got the top stitch done. Now all we need to do is put our elastic in. You need to grab some elastic or elastic band. I picked up this elastic band on Amazon and I do believe I paid $10.49 by using the coupon and you get 54 yards. I'll list the link down below in the description. You want to put a safety pin at the end, insert it into the opening, push it through. I'm using nine inches, but I have a smaller, thinner face and it's hard to tell everybody what size to work best. So what I would suggest is taking it, grab the pen, and inserting it at the end and try it on to see if it fits you before you tie it in a knot. And that will give you more of a custom size for you. Double knot it. This face mask would fit a variety of faces. I grab these two ends and I pull real tight. This helps lock the knot in place. You can trim off the ends, place the knot inside the opening to hide it. Insert the elastic in the other side. Double knot it. Before I pull the double knot, I like to make sure each elastic measures about the same size. Then I will pull on each end to lock the knot in place. Trim it, hide your ends, and that's it everyone. We are done. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed this video and free pattern. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support and views help me to continue to offer free patterns. Please share my videos in your social media Thank you so much. Bye-bye.